Hi, in this After Effects tutorial we will recreate this collage animation sequence from the Vox channel. And let's jump straight into After Effects. But at first a quick dive into Photoshop. To set the vibe for this animation we've got a textured paper background and a pair of old school vinyl records. I tweaked the colors, stylized a little bit the records and expanded the background. Now it's time to start animating in After Effects. I have already imported my Photoshop prepared footage and organized it. So we have uh, two scenes here. The first is with the titles and the second one is with the uh, records and one match card. And we will start with the first one. For this I will create two titles. For the title I use Futura Extra Bold 150 pixels and this pinkish color and this dark green. So at first adjust the anchor points. Now I will hide the music and we start with the red row. So we add animate, then position, then range selector. We will keyframe start and offset. Then we add also opacity and keyframe and opacity. Then we go 10 frames forward, put a keyframe for opacity. At first we have opacity at zero as well as offset at first 0, then 100 and we have start at 15 at the beginning. Now we will adjust the position and it will be 47. So, perfect. Now we will make this echo effect and for this one I will duplicate it, make it invisible then I will change it to stroke, not to fill. And now I will add uh, this effect, title repetition and expand up and down. So we will see all the titles, perfect. I rename it to outlines, press U to see all the keyframes. So now I will keyframe the position, at first I would like to have it at 75. Then I go 3 frames full, make it 110 and then at the end I will put it for 47, just like that. Perfect, now I will show the retro title, something like this, but I don't like this echo part behind the retro title so I will also change this. I will duplicate the outlines then I will delete uh, the repetition effect make it invisible. Perfect. Then I will adjust the stroke to 6 and I will also adjust the stroke for the outlines there to bold and make it bold 2. 2 is fine. So back to the mask I will make it bigger, 8 is fine and now I will mask it so like this and now we mask the title and I will also adjust the opacity keyframes, I will delete them so we don't see the middle part. Now let's preview it, perfect. Now I will do the same for the music title, repeat all that steps. So I will now pre-compose both titles. So I pre-composed the both titles and now I will animate slightly the position. So select both and put it in position keyframe, then we'll go three frames forward and we will place these keyframes at the end and at the beginning we will a little bit put the titles to the left to create more movement. Perfect. So to analyze if this is the right result, like in the box reference, I will also add a new adjustment layer, select posterize time effect and put 12 frames we can see that this is exactly like in the reference and this is right. So I will apply this easing and I will slightly offset both titles like this. 
Now we will animate the position of the titles. So we go to one second, put a position keyframe for both titles. Now go four frames uh, forward and then animate them closer to the center, so like this. And then go to two seconds and repulse them. So animate them to the border, like this. Then, then go eight frames forward and animate them to the center one more time and they will crash, but we will don't see it. I just rename Posterize Time. So now we have to adjust the easing. I will work with the speed graph. So I came up with something like this and I will just copy this easing. So at first we create uh, some kind of repulsion. So they are close to each other and then they repulse and go to the border, then easing and crash again. Okay, now we will cut the both titles here. And now we will go forward and animate the records. So I will scale them up a little bit and we will also need them from 2 seconds 6 frames. Okay, now this is the match cut, so the titles crash here and then the records are coming and they repulse like the titles. So we have to animate the position. So at first they are intersecting like this, then go four frames forward, then push them a little bit more in the center like this and then go at about three seconds and seven frames and repulse them. So this is the basic principle of animation. There are 12 of them. I'm sure that you know that. And this is follow through action. So like this. And a little bit of anticipation. So before the titles go to the borders, they are going a little bit in like this. So this is like the announcement of the movement. Now we have to adjust uh, the easing, so F9 at first and let's do it. So I adjusted my easing and it looks something like this. They are going closer and then repulse themselves. So we created this match card and let's preview it. Yes, I really like it. And let's add some color for the record. So I duplicate the layer and add fill effect. I will select dark pinkish color, I think like this, and then add the mode to add. I think I will make it more brown like this, then I will parent it. I will also delete all the keyframes for this layer. Perfect, and animate the opacity. T for opacity from 100 to 0, like this. And I will also do the same for the right one, but with the dark green color. For the right one, I will use desaturation effect. I will duplicate it, then add black and white effect, like this. When we can also add curves to make it slightly brighter like this. Then we will animate the opacity but backwards so at the end it will be we can copy the opacity from the colorful mask, paste it and then reverse it like this. I'm not sure that I like this effect but we will see. For now I will hide it, this effect, and we will see if we need it. So now we will start with the second one and I create camera, one note camera. So I will make the records and the background 3D and keyframe the position and point of interest of the camera. Now I will select two views, top, and I will animate the camera a little bit backwards like this and 
to the left like this so the left record is in the center now we have a problem we have not enough background but it's not a problem i prepared in photoshop uh, the big version of this and now i will just use it instead like this so i think it's perfect we can switch to one view and the right record will rotate to the right so we will put orientation keyframe and uh, z rotation and animate it to the right we will also need position so now we have something like this so now we will animate the title uh, i will write composition So I think about 60 pixels and make it, I think, bold. Adjust the anchor point and I will align it to the center. I think we have to make our record a little bit smaller. So S for scale and I will animate the scale exactly as the camera moves like this and not eyeballing, we can show the proportional grid. So adjust it a little bit, like this. Now we will animate the text, press P for the position. Now we have this position and go at the beginning. We will hide this text behind the record, like this. Now let's solo it and we will add animator position and we will do something similar as we did uh, for the first sequence so we have position and we also add opacity start at 100 and at 0 and animate it to 100 and opacity make it 0 so it's perfect exactly as in box reference and we can also adjust the softness go in advanced options and smooth it to zero okay i think something like 20 yes unsolid it and let's preview align the keyframes i think we have to make it smaller like that Okay, we rebuilt this title and now we will show the music underneath. I will add a solid layer. The color doesn't matter. Now I will add grid and change it to width slider. Perfect. I will make it two and the color gray like this and change the opacity to around 50 perfect i will turn on the proportional grid and then i will create a rectangle shape with the rounded corners something like this align it to the center change the anchor point so something like this then i will duplicate it and add a stroke no fill I chose the same pink color, but I think I can also adjust it to the dark green. So border around 5 pixels. I will rename it to border or stroke and rename the first shape to mask. And then I will mask it like this. And we also need a music part. I will scale it down like this, align to the center. Perfect. Now we can also adjust the form one more time, make it a little bit smaller. Now I will also use uh, the form for the node as a mat, like this. Perfect. Now we will animate the stroke. So go to contents, then rectangle then path put a keyframe for size and let's make it like a line 
like this and the second keyframe will be also here so at first we animate the width and then the height so like this and then bum now we will animate the mask go to mask then scale put a keyframe and let's scale it down like this okay let's adjust and animate it from zero like this i really like it and i will make it a little bit higher so i will put all underneath the uh, record and then pre-comp it now let's make it orange so now i will make it 3d but at first i will make sure that i know the right position of it so i will show the ruler then make it 3d and i will adjust the position And now we will animate the camera, put a point of interest and position keyframes like this. Then I will go forward and animate camera a little bit backwards, so like this. And I think we can make it a little bit bigger at first, so like this. So we move the camera after the music reveal like this yes now let's reveal a title here i will just use the same title as in vox reference now let's create a shape for it like this i will rename it to text base now i will put it underneath and then make a mat to it and reverse it perfect let's animate the scale Okay, let's animate scale, go to the form, then adjust the anchor point. We need it on the left side like this, then put a keyframe for scale and animate the scale to the zero. Let's adjust the easing and whoop, it's perfect, I like it. So let's make it a little bit earlier like this. And the last step, let's animate the border outside. So let's create a shape. No fill. I will try dark green. So let's add trim path. Okay, let's animate the start from 0 to 100, like this. I like it. And I will use the same easing. And let's adjust the timing. I would like to put trim path earlier, like this. And I think it looks really nice. And the last step, let's add some noise. We can use adjustment layer with fractal noise, but I will use free footage from YouTube. This is free dust footage from YouTube. I will only adjust the scale and time. I will stretch it and change the blending mode to screen. And that's it, let's preview it. So this is the end result and I really like it. Thank you for being with me and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye!